to maybe have such a big, uh, you know, big part of it? I mean, as you know, winning, that's our main goal. That's like the number one thing. So it feels great to win. And obviously it feels great to, you know, obviously make plays and, you know, help the team win. So, yeah. We talked last week, you know, about things starting to come together and slow down for you. Yep. Do you feel this game is kind of an example of that? I, I honestly think so because I felt like in this game, particularly when I was on the field, I felt very comfortable and very confident. Like when I would hear the play call, I would get lined up, I would know exactly what my job is, and it was just playing playing unconscious and finally just getting out there and just going. A lot of times in other games, I'll, I'll go out, I know my job, but I'll still be thinking about it. So this game definitely was a, a big step. In that to have direction. that play action pass to you to seal the game, yeah. how much does that speak to the confidence this, co this coaching staff is getting in you? I um, mean, you know, we always talk about uh, earning everything. So for me, it's just when my my number got called today, and I, you know, went out there and made a play. So whenever my number gets called, I, I just want to, you know, go out there and make plays. So I'm very thankful that you know they trusted me with that. I'm very thankful that I was able to come through. What did it feel like to get in the end zone for that first time? Hey, it felt amazing. <laughs> That's all I can say. It felt amazing. Can you kind of take us just through the play and what you saw? There was a cleared out area for you in there, and you were just right there. Yeah, I was just running, you know, in route. Um, saw the zone open up, uh, so I, and I was just patient going across. I knew I didn't want to go over too fast because RT's read was going to come to me, and luckily he came to me and made the play. You guys were humming so well in the first half, and then the second half hits, and again, it's it's kind of a struggle. What's it like in the locker room when you guys are talking about how to reestablish a rhythm on offense going into the second half? Um, we just talk about keeping our foot on the gas, just keeping our foot on the gas, make sure we don't get complacent. Uh, just that's what we usually say. Just keep our foot in the gas and, and keep playing, because you know when we come into halftime, the game is zero zero, no matter what the score was in the first half. Chick, what's going through your mind when that last?